Hey, how's it going everybody? So, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing as well as an installation. Now, this unboxing and installation is gonna be for this MSI 3060 Ventus 2X. Now, I actually got this bad boy when I was actually uh, on a trip to Houston. So if you actually follow my Instagram or my Facebook, you actually know that um, I actually did buy a 3060 last year. So that 3060 actually went to, uh, what was it, my mom's build. So I was like, all right, cool, that one, that one went there. And then I also bought a 3070 Ti and that was for my main build. But this one, if you're trying to wonder, is like, okay, what are you gonna do with this one? This one's actually for my living room gaming PC. So currently right now, my PC has been running, uh, what is it? I think it's a RX uh, 480, which isn't the best, you know, graphics card, but I was, you know, I actually took it out of, um, what was it? My little desktop emulator that I did, and I was like, you know what? It's like, until I can finally get the 3060, I'll go ahead and just use that for right now. So, nonetheless, let me go ahead and get this installed. All right, so here we have the front of the box. Of course, let me go ahead and take this uh, shrink wrap out. Here, of course, is just a shot of the front of the box. Nothing too exciting. Uh, let me just go ahead and just basically get this open for this to, you know, technically just get it installed. I finally had time today. So, there we go. All right, so. So the first thing we see, so we do have a little envelope for MSI right here. All right, so in that envelope, we do have the MSI graphics card quick user guide and a little uh, MSI reward uh, program uh, little slip. And of course, we have the main event. So here is the 3060 right here. So there it is. So I really don't, uh, I don't think that this version has any LED lights or anything like that. It's just uh, the bare card itself, which is fine. I mean, I didn't really want any, you know, RGB um, lights whatsoever. Um, plus, I mean, the case that I'm using right now for my living room PC really doesn't have a tempered glass, so you really wouldn't really see the 3060. So here's, uh, of course, a shot of the back of the card right here. So it still has that little blower. So everything, you know, air comes through here, goes right ahead and comes out to the top. And of course, the back over here would be, you know, coming out through the grill right here. All right, well, nonetheless, uh, let me just uh, go ahead and get my case open and then get this bad boy installed. All right, so we finally have, of course, the case open as well. Um, as you can see, we do have the 4080 here. Let me go right ahead and just uh, unplug it, you know, of course, from the GPU power, get all this out of the way, and then we can install the 3070. So there we go. So this is uh, finally out of there. Um, most likely I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on that little desktop emulator um, that I, uh, I did some time back. Um, you might wanna check that out if you wanna go right ahead and technically create you know, an old piece of equipment that you might be hanging out, you know, just basically collecting dust and you want to go ahead and make it into an emulator. So you can technically use old equipment to go ahead and do that. So I'll go ahead and, you know, if you want to check that out, go ahead and check that out. Actually, now that I'm looking at these two cards side by side, it's like, this is the 40, here, this is the 4080. And then this is the 3060. Let me flip it the other way. It's like, it's way shorter than the 4080 and of course way more powerful so yeah let me go ahead and get this installed uh one of the things most likely that i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and route this cable pipe over here through the side so i'm not going to bore you with that so the next thing that we're going to do is just go ahead and boot into this uh windows operating system and of course i know i need to go ahead and remove the AMD drivers uh, from this workstation, of course, get those NVIDIA drivers set up. So I didn't want to really show you too much uh, of the boring stuff. So I already went right ahead and uninstalled the AMD uh, drivers uh, on this computer. Right now I am installing the NVIDIA uh, GeForce Experience on this uh, living room PC. So let me go right ahead and get my login information and log into this. So now that we have the NVIDIA software installed, I'm gonna go ahead and make some changes. 
So under 3D settings, adjust image settings, and we're gonna go right ahead and go down here to use my preference emphasizing, and this is gonna be, of course, quality. So we're gonna select that. Uh, let's just hit apply. And let's go into the resolution. So resolution right now, it is running at 1080p. Uh, that's fine for right now, I'm just gonna leave it at that. And let's change the refresh rate because this TV can actually run 120 hertz uh, because this is technically an OLED TV, so pretty cool. Let's go ahead and change it to 120 hertz. And let's hit apply. Alright, so now this is technically uh, squared away. Let me go ahead and run one of the games that I know the 4080 was having problems running. So the game in question that I was talking about is actually this one, The Witcher uh, the 3 Wild Hunt. Now, uh, don't get me wrong, I mean the 4080 will run it, but it wasn't um, a pretty good uh, experience uh, running the Witcher on the 4080. So I'm pretty certain, of course, now with the 3060, this is gonna be a lot better. So let me go ahead and technically open it up and see exactly how it looks. All right, so uh, it looks like something's happening when I'm loading up the Witcher. So the image is coming in and out, in and out. Um, so let me go ahead and do some troubleshooting and try to figure out exactly what is happening on uh, on this graphics card so I'm finally back so I figured out exactly what was the issue um, initially I honestly thought that you know something was up with um, with the PC but um, I was like no could it be a you know kind of like the you know the AMD driver still installed so I went right ahead and basically just double checked uh, I forgot what uh, software I also used just to verify that the AMD driver was uh, uninstalled um, I'll go ahead and leave it right here. Um, I know I heard it from other individuals. I think it was when, when I installed my 3070 Ti that they were talking about it. So I, I ran that, I reseated the card. It still was flickering um, and it wasn't just on, on this game. It was also on a different game uh, that technically isn't too demanding for the graphics card, but it, it was still kind of flashing in and out. So the next thing I was thinking about, I was like, well, if it's not the PC, it has to be that. So this right here is actually a little HDMI hub that I had. And originally the PC was connected directly to port one, which would be over here in the front. So now it's connected directly to the, or to the I should say to the TV. And now, of course, I'm no longer having that uh, flashing in and out. <laughs> so, all right, uh, so I guess I have to technically run everything through that. The only bad thing is that I guess I have to reconfigure my, uh, what you would call it, my sound bar over here. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out how I can intertwine all of this. Um, I'll do that later on, but all right, so now that I fixed that, let's go ahead and go into the actual game. But for right now, this looks way better. I'll just tell you this, like just way better than the 4080. Where was I? I think it was in the options, uh, video settings, I think it was graphics. Like I remember, I think it was, I was running the low, the lowest of the lowest. And even like the 4080 was having trouble trying to keep up. So uh, I haven't really messed around with the graphics card. Let's just do RT Ultra. And let's see what happens here. So, okay, all right. Still, we're still okay. So no stuttering, no nothing. Sweet deal, finally, man. It's like I've been I've been waiting, you know, to finally get a 3060 for this computer because, you know, don't get me wrong, I, I like playing, you know, on my, in my, um, you know, office space, but sometimes, you know, when I have company or I just don't feel like sitting on, you know, my office chair, I, you know, I want something that's available here in the living room and I can just basically jump in and, you know, just go ahead and 
you know, play some video games. So for right now, I mean, pretty, pretty okay. Let's see exactly how, let's see if I remember correctly. This does have, or this TV does have like kind of like the FPS um, little gauge. So right now we are running at 76 FPS, kind of fluctuating between 60 to 75, 85. So not bad, not bad whatsoever. See, so we're get, getting to the 60s at that point once I'm actually going into kind of like the more foresty area. Well, anyways, so there we go. So that's a little quick, uh, I guess, little unboxing. Alrighty, everybody. Well, that is the end of this unboxing. Like always, I really do appreciate every single one of you, and we will catch you on the next one.